Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another tutorial. So today in the Reddit forums came across a post about someone asking about a uh, setting up a solar generator to automatically charge and discharge depending on a few certain circumstances. So I decided to do a quick tutorial so that they can have a better understanding or a description of how to do one themselves. Um, so here's the configuration. Here's just a simple basic setup. You've got your um, the factory manager here, then you've got a redstone emitter and that's going to turn the solar generator on and off. You've got a comparator now based on its current charge value. So here it's almost at 100% charge. So if we go up here, we're at a power of 13. When it reaches 15, that means this is fully charged. Now um, that's being fed into just any block uh, that takes a redstone signal and we're detecting it from a, you don't need the redstone up there or over there I'm just showing you the power output that it's currently at and then um, a redstone receiver is detecting um, the level it's at so uh, from the top we're going to detect what charge rate the solar generator is at and from the front as you see we have a daylight sensor and this is has a certain power rating based on the time of day and um, the way this will be set up is if it turns to night it's automatically going to switch to discharge and then when it turns to day again it's going to automatically set to charge now um, here's a quick side profile of all the pieces you need this is one uh, this setup here is able to uh, manage three I tried putting four together but when you put a fourth um, solar generator underneath the redstone emitter obviously it's not going to charge <laughs> or it's not going to yeah it's not going to see the sun I tried pulling it back one uh, but you, you'd end up covering it trying to manage the charge and discharge so about three is about the best you can set up with this alright so now for the code so you're going to need um, just a normal one second trigger I have that feeding into a flow uh, splitting it off into two and we're going to look for redstone conditions now the upside is the um, charge level so that's what we're going to deal with first and that's over here so when um, the redstone receiver on the upside receives a strength of 15 I want you to output to this emitter um, on the upside because that's where it's at. We leave it on weak signal. That's fine. Uh, we want to chart. We want to output. We want to output a 15 because that'll cause it to discharge and leave leave it at fixed. We're going to do a set so when that conditions true we want to set it to 15 now over here uh, we want it to set so this is the discharge so we'll leave discharge and then now we want to set it for when we want to charge So when it's fully discharged, when it when the redstone signal from this redstone receiver on the upside is zero, I want you to emit a redstone signal on the upside of zero so that it'll begin charging again okay so now if we look at so it should be almost full so there so if you can see in there there's uh, now that it's full um, let's see if we can get in there so it has a weak power of 15 if we go in here uh, deactivate redstone signal to resume charging 
So I'm going to go ahead and drop an energy cell. And we are going to, let's just grab um, this guy here. And we'll let this go while we're uh, messing with things. So are you, yeah, you're receiving max output of 10. So I'm not sure actually how fast it'll go. But we'll see this dissipate as it goes down. See, it's already down to 14. But if you notice, even though it's down at 14, we still have a redstone signal applied. So now we're going to deal with a daylight sensor. So here we want to set um, redstone controlled. We want to pay attention to this receiver. Uh, interval of one second is fine. We want to, to pay attention to the south side. That's where the daylight sensor is. So south side. And we're looking for um, a 0 through 4. And that means it, it is turned to night. And then, so if it's turned to night, we want to discharge out of redstone mirror side, um, the upside. That is the one we're talking about, and we want an output of yeah, we want an output of 15 because we want to discharge. So it should match this guy over here to discharge. And we're going to set that to um, on high pulse. So when it, um, let's change this to day night. Night trigger. Okay, so when it turns to daytime, when it's five or more, we want to output to this emitter on the upside an output of zero. So when the day starts, it'll automatically set to um, charge again. And you can see the little red light in there. So as soon as, well, that's going to be a while to, to discharge that. But what we can see is, so if I set it to night, here, let's do this. Let's go to 12,000. Okay, so we're currently at 7, 6. So it's deactivating. Five. So watch the watch the emitter over here. As soon as it hits four, that it'll shut off. Actually, no, that turns on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're going to go back to daytime. And there, you saw it, it turned off. So now it's going to start charging again. And now it's going to start discharging again. Should start discharging. Oh, there's a there's a change time when, when you apply redstone signal. There's like 10 second delay before it starts. Uh, charging again. I guess that's to um, alleviate when it it bounces back and forth. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, hope that helps. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and ha take care and have a good one.